What's up, everybody? It's Food Dudes DMV. We are back. Where are we at, Eli? Mission Barbecue. Uh, Y'all see this out? Yeah, let's go take a look. Let's turn around. Mission Barbecue. Now, this is a place that has some killer barbecue, guys. I'm going to have Eli try uh, a couple things that I've had before. I'm talking about brisket, I'm talking about the jalapeno cheddar sausage, and we're, we might try the uh, chicken as well. Um, but they got all these different sauces I want them to try. Uh, give you some fun facts about it when we get inside. Yeah, I've never been here, so if Chris is wrong about this, I'll let y'all know. He said he said it was good. Then it'll be my fault. Um, also, make sure you like and subscribe to Food Dudes DMV. We want to keep bringing you the best places in the DMV, so please hit a like and subscribe. Now let's go try some barbecue. All right, what's up guys? We are back at Mission Barbecue. If you see here, we did the three meat platter, brisket, uh, cheddar jalapeno sausage, and trying their uh, chicken with the dry rub. And what we're gonna do is we have all six sauces. That's Tupelo uh, honey, which has some hot sauce. We got Bay Barbecue. What's this here? Casey, Looks like we got regular Casey. Kansas City Classic. Uh, Texas Twain. Smoky Mountain, which is, shout out to my brother-in-law who is in the army. He went to WVU. Smoky Mountains from uh, is a West Virginia inspired sauce, and my favorite so far, Mississippi Bell. But I haven't tried all of them, so this is what's going to be fun. Is we have all of them in cups, and, and we're going to try each meat. I'm very curious to see what Eli's got to think about this place because I just started coming here. I really like. Yeah, it. this is my first time actually being at uh, one of these like uh, traditional barbecue places. You'll notice the uh, paper wrap they put on the bottom. That's usually what they use when you're at one of those kind of places. Yeah, plastic as well. Oh yeah, so we got a bunch of sauces lined up and looks like smoky jalapeno cheddar sausage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one up here. You <laughs> yeah, guys gotta it, see inside here. Good. The cheddar and the jalapenos are in the, you know what? I'm just gonna use my fingers. You see that? I've had this before, it's really good. I'm curious to see what Eli thinks. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna dig into the brisket first and we'll go down the line of sauces, okay? Yeah, I'm I'm anxious to try this brisket. Look at the smoke ring. So they smoke it in-house. Now, some fun facts. This was originally um, opened in Glen Burnie on the 10-year anniversary of 9-11. The um, co-owner was Bill Krause. He had two sons that served in the Marine Corps. They support military members and do free food giveaways to vets. And they, like that. They it's do really, a lot really of good places. So I have family in the military and things like that. Good, oh, good. We good, got a gentleman good. here checking on us. You want to be on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing a YouTube channel, Food Dudes DMV. Come you can in say, say hi. You can say what's Come up to the what's people, up, man. Up. What's your name? My name is Zang. Hey, he's Zang. Zang right Zang here. Mission Barbecue in Rockville. Yep, All see, right. he's going to be on Food Dudes DMV very soon. <laughs> So. <laughs> Wait, so you guys are doing like a funeral and stuff? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. We just started this month. This is actually like our sixth place that we bought. Nice. So yeah, so how much, we're. How much subscribers? We're getting there. We're just so just starting guys, up. We're just starting. You know what? Can you go ahead and subscribe to us? Then you'll be one of our subscribers too. You'll be one of our special <laughs> guests. I need a name. Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll right bring, we'll bring it to you here in a little bit. Okay, I'll bring it to you before we leave. Right, awesome. Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, bro. See? Our man right here. Texas Twang. Texas he twang. says Texas Twang. Okay, we're going to see. Yeah, I'm so, going to jump into that. So we were doing left to right, I think. Okay, I'm going to try this Memphis Bell sauce first. All That's right. the last one. Yeah, That's what. Alabama White. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Memphis Bell. Time out now. I'm going to just go ahead and call a time out before we even start. Like they called me Sauce Man. That's some excellent sauce. I can already tell what they're doing. The flavor of that Memphis Bell sauce, bruh, I might start coming here just to get sauces to throw on my barbecue at home. <laughs> that was pretty good, y'all. Mm. That brisket, brisket, juicy and tender. It's got a good smoke ring on it. Everything you ask for a brisket. Now let's go, let's move now. We're doing Smoky Mountain now. Yeah. Let's try Smoky Mountain. Eli, I'm gonna do it with brisket. Eli, you can do it with brisket or whatever you want. Let me try a brisket again. This is your more traditional sweet mm -hmm. and smoky. That kind of like a, um, almost like, what is up? The one I like, the Sweet Baby Ray's. But you I think it's a little you, better than Sweet Baby I gotta Ray's. tell you something, Chris. I know a lot about sauces. These are some pretty damn good sauces and we only had two. 
This is this is pretty um this is it's, it's pretty delightful. Then you got this brisket, you just got a array of sauces, it's really good. Yeah, I love the place. Now I really want Eli first. I want you to try this sausage by itself and then we'll keep going down the line of sauces. Hey guys, you guys should Ooh. try this. Uh oh. We got some Alabama white now. Oh, like my man, my man brought us. Oh, thanks. See, hey, look, look at this. When you get in good with the Mission Barbecue people, they start bringing you the secret sauce. <laughs> we just, we just met my so, man. Hey, and so he's we're already do, looking out. So I want Eli to take a bite of the sauce, and oh, then yeah, we're gonna try some of this Alabama white. Let's go ahead and try this. This is a. Uh, what's the name of this one again? Jalapeno cheddar smoked sauce. Mmm. Get the hint of jalapeno. The cheese kind of melts in your mouth. Good smoke in there. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with the Alabama white now. Let's try that. Eli, let's go some Alabama white. Stop yourself. Sir, I will not now. violate this damn sausage with sauce. This, I was cussing. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is really good tasting by itself. Like, it's kind of spicy though. Okay. Spicy. My man Zane just brought us a uh, Baja Bowl now. Baja Bowl. Dude, that Alabama sauce is good. I'm just going to do it just because he keeps bringing a secret sauce. We didn't even know this, these sauces exist. They weren't even on the table. So let's try the secret sauce they got behind the counter. This is Alabama white. That one's pretty damn good. The Baja one's good too. I think Sauce Man is speechless. Dude, we're not even halfway through. Lord have we mercy. had six on the table and then he just brought us two more. That's eight sauces. And we're not even trying the vinegar sauce because that's for pulled pork. We don't have pulled pork. Hey, listen, uh, Mission Barbecue is locally owned and uh, started in the DMV. I got to give a big shout out to them for even, uh, this is pretty impressive, man. This is pretty impressive, man. And see, I like the uh, original look of the place, first of all, and then like, just the setup, mm -hmm. you know? It's like real traditional barbecue and everything is tasteful. From so far, the two things you and, tried to really And if good. you look back there, and I'll show a uh, footage of it, they got the pitmaster's <clears throat> name on there, back there with the smoker, so you know who's preparing your meat on that day. Uh, for instance, for the Super Bowl's mm -hmm. coming up, they got special where for nine days you can order smoked wings. But anyway, let's let's keep going down. We got, what's the next one, man? I gotta go. Hold on, I'm gonna have to tilt the camera. Oh my Texas God. twang. Let's do some Texas twang. But you know what? I'm gonna try this this chicken. It's got some dry rub on it, nice and juicy. Look at look at the dry rub on that. Mm. Hey, never lie. So go ahead and take that. I'm gonna try oh, yeah. the I'm gonna try the uh, smoky with the chicken here. The big big nice portion. Which one are we on? The third song? Mm. Nice smoky flavor of that chicken, man. That's Let me tell you something, Chris. I'm gonna just go ahead and jump out there. I'm gonna keep drinking sauce. What we just had, Texas Twain? Mm -hmm. Every sauce that they have tastes refreshing. Mm -hmm. You know how like you have the store barbecue sauce and then have that like, almost like you know they made it in the factory or something? You can tell they mix these sauces down to a tea. It's flavored so right. No like bad or lingering aftertaste, no bitterness. Even the most sour sauces, if you think of like the Carolina barbecue sauces, they have a certain kind like that. You can taste it. The zing hits you, but it's a damn good zing. It's not like that sour. Just enough heat to know it's zing. there. Nah, it's the good thing. It doesn't overpower the flavor. So now we got KC, uh, traditional KC next. This is going to be hard. The next, time, the next time I come here, it's going to be extremely hard. To that reminds me, that original KC, I just had it. What does that remind you of? Like, a, I've had that that sauce before, but I don't know where it comes from. It tastes it's, extremely familiar. They per, what they did was every kind of barbecue sauce you tasted before, they put their own twist on it, and it's literally perfect. I can even taste the hint of celery in it. You tasted mm -hmm. it? You can taste the celery in that last sauce. I'll show you guys the color. I wish they actually sold this in bottles. I'm gonna have to look that up. All right, uh, somebody somewhere's gotta do that. Let me go ahead and go into this. What were you next? We're doing the Bay Barbecue Bay Barbecue. Now. I gotta take brisket. I'm gonna do brisket with the Bay Barbecue. This mm. is probably Maryland in the barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh God. That's actually really good. There's, I'm getting some sweetness. Mm -hmm. Let me look at the description, but it's definitely Old Bay, but there's something sweet in it. 
What is that sweet? Mm. It's delicious, man. I might cry. You know, I was already pre prejudging and not even prejudging. I was just curious to see if you were accurate. Hey, thanks, awesome. thanks for those extra sauces, man. I like the array y'all got here, man. The, yeah, the variety on. is on point. This man is the man with the sauces. Sauce boss, man. Sauce hey, boss. You come see him. All right? I'm, I'm sauce man. He the sauce boss. Yeah. 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 <laughs> man. Um. Boy. So we got one more left, and that's the Tupelo honey. And I'm gonna continue to go with the chicken here. I'm gonna and try that OB one more time. I'm gonna do this Tupelo. Mmm. Mm. That's probably, pretty good. It's probably a good thing that there's not one really close to my house. I probably would eat here once or twice a week. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, try to brisk it again. So, it is the Tupelo honey. Super sweet, super, super uh, smoked. I love this song. Almost like, almost like an Asian chili on it. You oh, get that? I, I tell y'all what. Do they sell these in the store? We gotta find out. Look at this one. If Mission Barbecue sells their barbecue sauces, guys, summertime is in for some trouble when I start grilling. I'm throwing this on wings. I'm throwing this on everything. Ribs. Could you imagine? Could you imagine this Talipo honey with a, a slab of ribs? You would literally have to make three racks of ribs and cut them in quarters or halves and have a different sauce for each one. It, it's terrific. So. Wow. We're running out of time today. Um, I just, we're not going to rate the sauces. All of them are great. I am. I'm sauce man. He's don't, sauce don't man. Don't worry about him. I will tell you what my favorite one was, and that's this Alabama white. It might have taken over the Mitmus Bell. But when I'm saying, it's not just 1A, 1B. It's 1A through like 1G. It's like 1 through 6. They're all delicious. But I want to hear what Elijah's got to think of the overall experience though here. They have, every, they have every type of barbecue sauce that you've ever tried in your life. They have the ones that taste like you might have had it in a McDonald's cup. They have the ones that taste like the Heinz or Kraft kind that sell you saw in the store. They have the type that tastes like Sweet Baby Ray. They have the uh, Carolina sour type. Every last one of them has their own authentic twist to it, and it's good. I don't even eat all barbecue sauce. Like the uh, the really sour ones, I don't like those. I only use one at home when I make my ribs, and that's Sweet Baby Ray's, but I'm telling you, this inspires me. I might go home and make my own sauce now. Make my own barbecue sauce. Let me try this last one before we sign up. What's this here? We got Baja, Baja Bold. I, I just gotta do it because all of them were so good, I don't wanna leave out any. Can't leave out any. And anybody. since our man Zang brought this to us, I don't wanna uh, disappoint the guy. Let's, let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead, hang a fang on that. Mm. Mm. It's got a little more heat to it, mm. but not overbearing. You still taste the meat first and then the sauce. You see my face? I don't know what to say. I, I think it's time <laughs> for us to go. Eli's got to take a nap. Yeah. So Mission Barbecue in Rockville. Mission Barbecue anyway in, anywhere in the DMV. Mission completed. Get this to you. All right, guys. Uh, we're actually back. So uh, video not over. Uh, the manager of Bob of Mission's Barbecue, really, really good guy. He came by and talked to us, and he also gave us their uh, signature dessert, the blueberry cobbler. So now, uh, thank Bob, thanks a lot, man. Like bonus, <laughs> bonus review, guys. Hey, yeah, bonus review. This is what I all talk about. There's so many good people around this area. You know, you never know who you're gonna meet when you're out on the road. Uh, good food, good people. And let's try this cobbler, man. Here it goes, this and I'm going in for the kill. I love apple and peach cobbler. This That's is the damn best cobbler ever, man. I, guys, I'm trying to diet, believe it or not. This is damn near heavenly, y'all. Oh. This, could you imagine mm. if you had a scoop of ice cream? Mmm. All right, one more bite for, for science. That's how it looks. Oh my God. Chris, I'm just gonna go ahead and give, what did I say at the beginning? 
this place better be good. Let me slap myself. I think now Eli is gonna start trusting me when it comes to these places. We got a couple good videos. I know we went to Ted's Bulletin. You guys will see that come out. Guys, DMV is where it's at. There are hundreds of restaurants. Like and subscribe so that we can bring you as many as possible. That blueberry cobbler gets a 10 out of 10. Sauce get a 10 out of 10. This barbecue gets a 10 out of 10. A plus, 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 plus. I think that's it, y'all. Well, I'm speechless. Mission Barbecue, come here. Food Dudes DMV, signing out. Zang and Bob, thanks again, man. You guys are great.